Allow me to quickly show you some nifty shortcuts and tips to make your life easier in Unreal Engine 5. When your object is far away, you click on it and hit the F key on your keyboard to zoom in on that one. Instead of using W, E, R for moving rotating scaling, you can also flip between these values with the spacebar. Holding Alt and drag will duplicate this item. By the way, when you hold Shift and then move it, you can also move along with the object. Holding Alt, Shift will duplicate and move along with this enemy. F2 will quickly allow you to change names. Pressing Ctrl B will open the content drawer and showing you where this item is enabled. Pressing Ctrl E will open up the blueprint immediately. When you want to snap something to the ground, click it and hit the end key and it will snap right back to the ground. Ctrl and space will open or close your content drawer. You can also use it as a dock in the layout so it won't move when you click somewhere. And then you can also click this away and use Ctrl space once more. When you are inside of your viewport and you hit F10, it will close the outline and details panel F10 to open it once more. F11 to go full screen, F11 once more to go back to this normal view. Ctrl D will duplicate an item and this also works on blueprints and the material editor. G will toggle between the game view and the viewport view. In the content drawer you can also filter, so for example, when you click here on the filter, you can also filter what you want. For example, you only want to see materials, or you can also right click and remove to see everything once more, and for example you can then click the blueprint class and then see all the blueprint classes, or right click to remove this once more. Inside of project settings, input, if you want to enable new action mapping, usually you click here, and then you choose the key that you want. And you can scroll, but there is a faster way. You click here on the keyboard and then hit for example the E key and it is automatically selected for you. You can also go back to the Unreal Engine 5 view, go to Window, Load Layout, UE4 Classic Layout. You can also toggle back to the Unreal Engine 5 default view by Window, Load Layout, Default Editor Layout and then we are back to our default layout. Inside of your Epic Games Launcher, you go to Marketplace, Free, Free for the month and monthly you will see 5 assets that is completely free for you just to grab. These don't take up hard disk space, just grab them and then they appear in your library and you can import them inside of your project whenever you like. And these are really high quality. So for example, let's say you want to integrate this one. It's very nice. Even if you're not a frequent user of Unreal Engine, just grab them for when you like, because after this month, they are back to full payment. When you don't want to lose your current view, but you want to zoom in a bit, hold the right mouse button and then hit C as long as needed. And then let's say when you let go of the right mouse button, you're back to where we started. So this is easy for zooming in and keeping your position later on. You can also use some shortcuts inside of your blueprint editor. For example, B click will open up a branch instead of right clicking and then typing in branch. S click for a sequence. P click for the event begin play. This is usually for testing purposes. You can quickly grab this one. And there are some other ones. When you select something and you hit the C key on your keyboard, you can comment this out. Also pretty neat in your comments, did you know that you can just drag them around and give them certain colors. For example, everything in a certain part can have a red color or everything can have blue color and you can have different colors as you need. So for example like this for organizing purposes. You can also drag out variables. Instead of going like this and then choosing between get and set, you can also hold Ctrl to get the getter or Alt and drag to get the setter. When you plugged in the wrong note, you can Alt click to disable the note or you can just plug it back and Ctrl click will keep the note, but you can rearrange this note. I hope these tips were pretty helpful for your next project. I'm pretty sure once you get a hang of these, you will quickly build your levels much, much faster. Spend all your time.